Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal. I am going thrifting today. Very exciting. I've only been to two thrift stores for the entire year of 2023. So I'm excited to get out. I have no more things left to list at my house. I'm going through like my old 2019 items that I'm re-photographing. I'm doing now a set two of that and I want to list some new things. So the first place we're going to go to is an estate sale. This estate sale is two families, but all of the contents of the homes were moved into a warehouse kind of setting, which I'm a lot more comfortable going into a warehouse setting versus a, a possible dead person's home. You know, rummaging through people's things in their own home is a little weird. So it is a cash only sale. So I did get cash out before. I also just dropped off my packages. And today at the estate sale, it is 50% off because it is the last day. So I don't know how much I'm going to be able to find. And I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film as well, depending on how big the space is. And then after that, there's a few other small thrift stores that I want to visit that I haven't been to in a while. And I'm excited to take you with me. Let's hope I find something good. Okay, well that estate sale was pretty sparse, but I figured it would be after three days of it being full and then 50% off today. I did find a few new things though. A brand new fondue set that I may be keeping. If not, definitely can sell it. I only got it for $5. And I got a few little odds and ends as well. I will do a haul after this little trip. I have arrived at my next destination. This place is a consignment store, but it is loaded. And when I mean loaded, I mean like everything is packed so tight. The last time I was here, I only uh, scratched the surface. I was only able to go through like half of the stuff. There was a whole back room of men's clothing and kids stuff that I didn't even get to go through. So hopefully I'll be able to find some good things in here. Um, this place is very dark, uh, not a lot of lighting. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to take any quality, uh, you know, videos, but I will try my best. So here we go. This is their electronic slash lamp slash kids clothing room. It's kind of a mishmash. And then there you could see over on the right were a bunch of games and puzzles. And this is the kids room. Toys, clothing, and then men's are over on the corner. I just said this place is packed. <laughs> and this was all women's clothing. All of it. Plus sizes were in the back along with some more purses. And unfortunately, I feel like a lot of this stuff has been here for many, many, many years. So a lot of it is no longer good. Um, you know, like shoes and purses, that kind of stuff deteriorates after time. So yeah, this is it. Whew. It was absolutely freezing where all of the women's clothing was. So like I can't even feel my hands. You can probably see that my nose is really red. I was probably digging in there for at least an hour and I'm frozen to the bone. Um, I did find a few things, nothing like crazy great, some Talbots. I did find Lafayette 148, a mountain hardware vest. So I did okay. Most things were 50% off. So my next stop is another little thrift store just right up the road. I normally don't find clothing in this location, but I usually stick to the hard goods and stuff because they have some decent stuff over there. So here we are in the shoe section. I didn't see any signs that said anything was half off. So if they had sales or deals, I wasn't told or you know there was no sign when I first came in there were a bunch of Clarks here 
Um, they were reasonably priced. These were priced too high for sure. They were only Rampage and I think they were peeling inside. They were cute though. And I did like this pair of Clarks here at the end, but they were kind of a smaller size and I didn't really want to pay what they were asking. And then here is just a glimpse of um, their clothing. This is the women's section. The men's section is very, very small. And then over here is all of their like ceramics. This was very, very light. I was expecting it to be a lot heavier. These figurines, they looked interesting, but I didn't really see anything very distinguishable about them, any stickers or anything like that, that I could identify the brand. And then they have a whole bunch of mugs. So as I expected, I left that thrift store empty handed. I've only been in there a couple of times and I think I've only bought one or two things each time I've gone in. So it's okay, I wasn't in there for very long. I'm kind of leaning this way because the sun's coming in so I'm trying to block it from my face. But now I'm hungry, it's about 2.30. I've been shopping since 10 or at least I've been on the go since 10. And I'm going to stop at my favorite place for my thrifting treat. And it is Panera. All right, well, lunch was delicious as always at Panera. My normal order at Panera is just broccoli and cheddar soup with, um, what's it called, agave lemonade. But I wanted to try something different, so I tried their mac and cheese that had broccoli and carrots in it. It was pretty good. And then the Frontega, no, it wasn't the Frontega. I think it was like hickory smoked chicken or whatever. Very good, but it was doused in barbecue. It was very messy. So now I'm heading into my last thrift store of the day. I'm getting tired, my feet hurt, and the dogs are gonna need to be fed soon. So I'll have to head home to do that. Um, but let's see what we can find in the Salvation Army. Here we are in the dress section. Today's colors of 50% off tags were blue and green, and then yellow was $1.49. In dresses, I am always looking for those tags because dresses are priced a lot higher. This was Lovers and Friends, which I always get confused with for Love of Lemons for some reason. That's why I was taking a more detailed look at that dress. I did find a blue and gray tank maxi dress down here, um, right here it is, but I, it was just kind of plain and I didn't pick it up, but I wanted to show you how they tie all the bottom of their maxi dresses with rubber bands. Next are capris. As you can see, it is very sparse. I don't know if this is because people just haven't donated their capri items or maybe people don't wear capri or you know cropped length very often anymore. I didn't find anything here, but I have found good stuff in the past in this section. There's a pair of blue and gray pants. Unfortunately, they were not half off and I wasn't gonna pay $8 for them, so I did leave them. Then we switch over here to skirts, which I have had really good luck here at this store. This particular day, there was a lot of floral and printed skirts. A lot of them were vintage. This one I thought was really pretty. I love the um, the big floor. They were kind of like poppy flowers and then the color, but I wasn't familiar with the brand. Also, this brand, uh, Wednesday Girl, wasn't familiar, but I liked the print. And there were just a bunch of fun printed skirts, but none of them really caught my eye or they probably weren't 50% off either. Okay, I am tired. I've been shopping since 10 o'clock. It's now 4.30, almost 4.30. I need to get home to feed the dogs and my feet hurt. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna do a haul. I'm not sure I'm gonna do it when I get home or if I'm gonna do it the next day, but I will show you everything that I found today. All right, I have made it back home. I've put everything into my inventory spreadsheet and I'm gonna show you the items that I got. So I went to a total of four places, one estate sale, one consignment shop, and two thrift stores. I spent a total of $71.61 and got 18 pieces, but I am keeping one item for myself. So the items that I purchased to resell was $66.61. And if you divide that by 17 items that I'm going to sell, it 
it comes to $3.92 a piece, right under my $4 cost of goods mark that I like to keep things at. The consignment store is what actually raised my cost of goods per item because I did pay a little bit more there because it is consignment and they usually want to get the most amount of money that they can, which that store is such a trip basically is all I can say. It's an older couple. They're probably like in their late 60s, early 70s and they run the whole thing and they have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of items. You have to dig. Uh, like I said, that one room had no heat. So um, my nose was cold, my fingers I couldn't feel anymore. Um, they're probably super dry because it was cold in there, but I was able to find a few things. So let me show you the one thing that I'm going to keep for myself. This is from the first estate sale that I went to. And as a reminder, this estate sale was going on for three days. Today was the last day, but everything was 50% off. So I got this chocolate and cheese fondue set. It is brand new in the box and we're gonna keep it for ourselves. We used to go to the Melting Pot, um, which is a fondue restaurant near us for our birthdays because it was, you know, a special occasion, but it's closed down. So I think the closest one to us is like three hours away. Totally not worth driving for that. So we are gonna have our own little fondue date night or whatever. We may only use this a couple of times a year, but for $5, I can't beat that price at all. Next at the estate sale, I got this cute little puppy dog. There's a little bit of extra like ceramic or porcelain right there. He's in really good condition though. No chips or cracks besides that little piece right there. And it does say made in Japan right on the bottom and he is hollow. So he's pretty lightweight. The last thing I got to resell at the estate sale was this bundle of books. So first off we have these um, vintage like 1950s to 1970s Pillsbury Bake Off cookbooks. So you'll see here's a Bake Off cookbook. Here's another Bake Off. Um, these are best loved foods. These are basically just all Pillsbury books. Most of them are from the Grand National Cook-Off. And I wanted to show you, this one's my favorite. This one's from 1967. And check out all of the retro colors, their outfits. So cool. And then here's a back ad. I love the color of that stove. I was given a bunch of these for free a while ago and they sold within, you know, a couple months of me listing. Not for a ton of money, but I'm calling my cost of goods for this 50 cents. So even if they sell for seven or $8, it'll be fine. And I will be lotting them all together. And then the other thing that was included in that little book lot is this little red book and it says Rubiat. Ru no, I didn't say that right. Rubai, well, maybe I did Rubaiyat. I am not sure what the original language of it was, but it is a very, very old book. Actually, the cover is kind of falling apart, I just realized. So that's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. And then inside has this dude, and it says Edward Fitzgerald. And then it says Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, uh, the astronomer poet of Persia, rendered in English verse by Edward Fitzgerald. I am not sure the date of publishing on this because it doesn't say it, or at least I haven't found it yet, but hopefully I can do some research on eBay and see, even if it only sells for a couple of dollars, I have saved it from who knows where, the landfill, I suppose. And then the last thing I got at the estate sale, I am not reselling, but I'm keeping to use for reselling shipping supplies. So these are just flat boxes that fold up to like ship books or games or things like that. And they were originally four for a dollar, but it was half off. So I got eight for one dollar instead. So very useful. All right. So next up, we're going to go over the consignment items. First up is this Torrid dress. This is a size 12 in this beautiful peachy pink color with these kind of square short sleeves. It does tie here. It is a faux wrap though. It doesn't completely wrap all the way around. And then it is a midi length and flares out pretty far. I thought this was so pretty. Love the colors. Definitely not for my skin tone necessarily, but it was in really nice condition too. That's another thing about the consignment store is because there was 
very low lighting. They literally had standing lamps in between some of the racks so that you could see. I did have to use my flashlight on my phone a couple of times, but I did inspect these items multiple times to make sure that there were no flaws because the last time that I went there, I missed a bunch of flaws. So I was very diligent about looking. Next up is a Lafayette 148 shirt. I think it's a shirt, like a tunic, size 10. And it is a very, very long shirt. It could almost be a mini dress on someone, but I don't really think that Lafayette is known for their mini dresses. It's more like career work stuff. So I think it's just a longer shirt. Um, it's this very stretchy, super stretchy fabric. And it has this like exposed seam down the back. There was a ton of J. Jill stuff there, but a lot of it was smaller sizes, which does not do well for me. I did pick up this piece though. So this is J. Jill and this is a size large. And it is this open knit, kind of like crepe feeling maybe. I'm not really sure the type of fabric this would be considered, but it is a long tunic in this lovely neon green color. And I didn't even see what the contents of it was. Uh, cotton and nylon. Then we have a Mountain Hardware Vest. This is the first time I've ever found this brand within the thrift stores. I got it once in a mystery box, uh, but this is the first time finding it. It is a size eight. Has all of these cool zippered pockets and this beautiful like mossy green. Has toggles on the side. And then there's the logo in the back. Very durable feeling, very nice on the inside. I don't know comps necessarily off the top of my head, but I'm hoping this will sell for at least 25 or more. I try not to pick up LuLaRoe anymore, but this one seemed kind of special to me and I'm hoping that it wasn't a bust. So it is obviously LuLaRoe. It is a size large. I forget what this dress is called, maybe the Sarah um, there's a few other dresses, but I forget their names and what they look like. Short sleeves, but it's got Jack Skellington face all over it. I don't, I think this is him screaming, right? This is also him. Um, I did briefly look up LuLaRoe um, Jack Skellington prints on Poshmark. And, you know, comps were all over the place from $9 up to $40. So this one was in really nice condition. So I hope that this does well. And then the last piece at the consignment store was Talbot's. They did have a lot of Talbot's pieces. This is a size 10. I absolutely love this dress. Sleeveless, paisley, maxi dress. It does have like tiered pieces to it or portions, I guess you could say, lined underneath. And then in the back, it does tie. Very, very, very pretty and perfect for summer. All right, next up is Salvation Army. I was kind of losing steam at this point, but I wanted to keep going because I knew that I didn't really get a lot at the other two places. And I'm glad that I did because I found some really cool pieces. This is a little white porcupine. I think he's a porcupine because he's got all of these holes. I don't know his purpose yet. I was thinking like paintbrushes, toothbrushes, pens, pencils, um, but then it has a hole underneath here. So not exactly sure. It is by the brand Lenny Mud and made in USA. I didn't see anything that looked like this on eBay when I looked up comps, but several of his teacups that he makes sold for over $22. So I'm hoping that this will find a new home because it is super cute. This piece was kind of the seal of the day in my opinion. So this is a very shiny purse. <laughs> I have my ring light on. So it is a black croc leather purse. There is a pocket up front here. It has this shoulder strap, leather tassel, and it's just plain on the other side. And this is by the brand Talbot's. They only marked this at $4.99 and it was half off. So I paid $2.49 or $2.50 for it. And besides it needing like a good lint roll inside, it's in great condition. Even the edges are in good condition. So cute, cute. All right, so now on to the clothing. This is a blue and gray piece. 
blue and gray, size medium. This is a very comfortable and soft, thick knit, um, kind of like a heathered or confetti knit. Long sleeves, fit and flare. Definitely flares out a lot, but it has this cool opening in the back. V. It looks like it should be in the front, but it is in the back. And it was in really great condition and it was half off. I try not to pick up Ann Taylor and Ann Taylor Loft, those pieces, because they just really kind of sit for me. But this one had a lot going for it. So first of all, it is a metallic and navy blue tweed. It's kind of like a career skirt. Really great condition. It's a size 18 and it's regular Ann Taylor, not loft. And I paid $1.49 for this. So how could I pass this up? Someone's gonna love this in their professional attire. Next is the brand Soft Surroundings. This is a size petite medium, and it is a navy blue velvet button front blouse. Very soft, great condition. Needs a lint roll, obviously, because most velvet does. And I didn't look up comps for this, but I was willing to pay $5.99 for it. So hopefully it will do well. Again, with Ann Taylor, I try not to pick up J. Crew, J. Crew Factory, any of that. But this piece was really cute. It is regular J. Crew, size medium, navy blue and white stripes. And it's almost like a slub knit. It is very soft and comfortable. And then it's got this pleated tiered hem on the bottom. Oh my goodness, I just thought it was so cute. It's not from super, super recently, but it is from holiday of 2015. Next is another piece that's not entirely new within the past five years, but I still thought was a cute style. It is Athleta, size medium, and it is this V-neck gray long sleeve shirt with this drawstring down here. Feels almost like no one ever wore it. Like it still has that crispness to it. And I think that this was from uh, December of 2014. And then the last item I got from Salvation Army is Beach Lunch Lounge Collection. This is a size extra large. Love this gingham black and white print. Has these little like ruffly bracelet sleeves. They're not really bracelet because they're more like three quarter length sleeves. It does tie around the waist. I did have to put a clothespin here to keep it in place so I could show you, but it does completely tie around the waist. And then it does tie here on the side and this is connected. It's not a true wrap top, but it does wrap all the way around. Well, that concludes the haul for this thrifting day. I thrifted for six hours. I'm super tired. My feet hurt, my knees hurt. I'm ready to relax for the night. Hopefully you enjoyed coming along on the ride with me. Leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite piece is. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.